Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would just show you how I replace the tips of my trekking poles. These are the Black Diamond Alpine Carbon or Core Candle. The tips are really worn from a lot of use last year and I, since I have to swap them out to brand new ones before I start the Arizona Trail, I thought I'd share how I remove these things. One of the funny things is this right one here. It's, uh, it looks different because I actually lost this entire thing one trip and I found this little ring on the trail so I picked it up and I've been using it ever since. Works well enough to keep it from sticking in the mud too far but it's really hodgepodge. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not a clean set, that's for sure. I hope you can see this okay. I actually, I'm doing it on the carpet. I put this paper towel in the way because there's a lot of dirt in there. I don't want that falling all over. But this is my, again, Black Diamond Alpine Carbon Core. I use this all throughout the PCT. In fact, there's a lot of patches. You can tell there's a little bit of floss holding this together. The other one is much worse. I actually need to fix some of it. The handle is a mess. A mouse got to it somewhere mile 600, but uh, it's a mess. But here is how I remove the tip. Nice and easy. First off, just kind of slide this out from the base and I attach it. All right. I've seen a lot of people use pliers and they just try to grab this area and then try to pull. The problem is this is on by friction to this part. There's no threading. It's just smooth pull up to, I don't know, maybe about here. And if you use pliers, you squeeze down on it. And what you do is actually squeeze the tip onto the pole and you create more friction and it's never going to come off. So what you need to do is find some way to jerk it off. And this I found is the easiest way. Sometimes I use this with a hammer and that works better, but I thought I'd do this. I did a similar way in Kennedy Meadows. I found a, a vise in the back room somewhere. And what you do is when you find a vise, you basically try to fit it tighten it but don't get it tight where you can't move it give it some room so you can slide up and down so when you get the vise give it some room and what you do is with the vise you just yank down as hard as you can and that sucker will just fly off in this case what i'll do is i'll just slide and hit it so it's got a little bit of slack so here you go <laughs> that was it it actually popped off a lot easier than i thought it was going to so it went flying but you can see all the dirt right here so Here's a little bit during the carpet. Okay, but that's all it takes. Um, that one came out really easily, so let's put that aside. Let's take out the other one, slide it out. Lock it so you have some way to hold it. And let's move that to the side. Tighten it all the way, loosen it so there's room to slide. And <laughs> it popped out really easily again. So that's pretty much all you have to do in the field, someone told me you can find maybe a tree branch that makes a V and you hit it on there. But I figure, I mean, these things, that's hard plastic. That's going to damage the tree. So I wouldn't want to do that. If you can, when you get into town, find somebody that has an adjustable wrench like this. Works super easily. Um, and that's it. Nice and easy, right? Now with this part. I just do a little basket, you just twist it and it comes off. That one came out easier because it doesn't fit the model. <laughs> so there you go. And it's really dirty. And the new ones, you just basically just slide on. That's all you do. Let's see. The tip is here, goes that far. So it'd go up to here, maybe if you push it up and harder. Now, what you do is you just do this and you just bash it down on some rocks you find on trail and I'll just shove it in and it'll stay secure. And that's, that's pretty much it. But for now, I'm just going to put these guys back on one and two. It's not even on. Well, it's all loose, <laughs> but that's it. Pretty easy, right? Do not grab it and try to pull, just yank it. You don't have to stick it in boiling water or any of these crazy tricks, just find an adjustable wrench like this or anything that could impact it. I'll 
hard with a straight force going that way and it'll just pop right out. That's the gist of it. If you try to push, it doesn't work. A sharp jolt tends to pop it out easier. So don't try to push it, just kind of pop it out. Or the other thing I do is sometimes I'll put this here and I'll hit this wrench with a hammer and it just pops it out right out as well. So hopefully that will help anybody else that needs to replace any trekking pole tips. I will be out there with multiple tips in my car. So after this hike, I'm probably gonna have to replace them again as well.